There's something about a biker that makes my knees go weak. My heart starts beating wildly and I'm hardly able to speak. And as this macho vision walks towards me slow and sure, oh, I'm having palpitations and I'm nearly on the floor. Now, he's got to ride a meaty machine, not a little chicken chaser. And he must be an experienced biker, not a daredevil boy racer. He's wearing a bright shiny helmet and armour from head to toe. Reminds me of a dashing knight from stories long ago. Oh, I love to love a biker. They're like knights of the round table. Courageous, sexy, fun to be with, and of course talented and able. <laughs> <laughs> His walk is slightly bow-legged, but he's just dismounted his steed. His visor steamed with hot breath. Is he as excited by me? He lifts his helmet visor, looks at me with twinkling eyes. I wait with trepidation. I can hardly believe my eyes. And as he removes his helmet, I'm full of mounting tension only to feel my heart sink when I see he's passed a pension. What I thought was a fit, tasty biker was nothing of the sort, but a toughless, hairless old bloke, complete with a hairy wart. <laughs> he unzips his tight leather jacket and out flops a big, flabby belly. By now I'm back under control and my knees are no longer like jelly. His walk was slow and unsteady and sometimes he had to stop. But that's because he was waiting for an artificial hip hop. <laughs> he seemed a nice old fella, even if he was a bit slow. If I was 40 years older, nah, I still wouldn't want to know. My knight in shining armour turned out to be an old geezer. And as for the heavy breathing, he was an asthmatic wheezer. <laughs> well, that was quite some time ago, and I tired of waiting for he, so I bought myself a motorbike and fell in love with me. Thank you. <laughs>